In this tutorial, I will show you how you can create world partition in any map or convert any map to any world partition setup that you would like. So for example, when you have two dudes right here, scale up, this one is out of range and when I walk in range, it is loaded. This is great for your performance in Unreal Engine 5 games, so you can see this loaded in and out. Let me show you how I did it. To use the world partition, you can go to File, New Level, and if you start with one of those open world templates, you have world partition enabled by default. But let's say you have an existing level or you chose one of those templates. I'm going to create this, but first I'm going to save this. Let's, uh, let's give this a name. World Partition Map, for example. But now World Partition isn't enabled yet. So let's create an example. Let's delete this floor right here. And I'm going to quickly add a landscape just to show you off how it is. And then hit Create, back to Selection. Right now, I don't have my world partition right here. So now I need to convert this to a world partition map. Like for example, one of these templates has this already, but you can do this with any level you already created. So go to tools, scroll down, under world partition, you see convert level, click this one. And this is the one that I just created or an existing level that you already own, click open. And now if you want to change this particular map and don't want to copy, you leave this as is. But if you want to change it just as this map, but I'm going to leave this as false because I want a copy. Sometimes it glitches or you have mistakes and then at least I have a copy. And then you hit OK. And then you hit Save Selected. Now, when you first see this, don't panic because uh, we need to load in our world. You can scroll in and out. Scrolling out, you can see that you can have a range selected. Right click and load region from selection. And then you can see your landscape once again. Or what you can also do, is select certain layers, right click, and then unload this. So now I'm going to uh, load from here once again, or have everything loaded. And then you have World Partition right here. If you don't see this, go to Window, and then World Partition, and then World Partition Editor, and you can see this here. You can also load in what you need or what you don't need. So now you see two loaded regions, unload and load once more, if you made the same mistake as I did. Okay, this is for if you have a very big map and you only need to work in a certain part of it. You don't need to load everything. Then we can change these values by going to Window. And then here, see World Settings. And under the World Settings, you need to scroll down until you see World Partition Setup. And you can see that Streamlining is, en is enabled. But let's preview the grids. So after a little uh, waiting and compiling, you can see that the grids are working. And you can see when I zoom in and out, cells are loaded and unloaded. So whatever is in front of here, my player will or won't see, which is better for performance sake. Okay. And this is the size of uh, the grid, so you can also change this one. So open up that grid one in here and open up this index. Now you have the cell size. Let's see what happens if I move the cell size down. You can see these get smaller. So uh, less things far away will be loaded. Uh, and same for the loading range. You see, the circle right here is what uh, is loaded. So I set this back as default or Ctrl Z to undo that one if those arrows don't work because I like these default settings. You can also have the debug color right here. So uh, then you can see it better like that. I want to show you this with an example right here. I got two huge mannequins. I scaled them up. So, uh, and I have a player start right here. So when I hit play, we can see that one is visible, but the other one is visible when I come closer. You see, it is loaded in and when I'm far away, See, this is the range where it is loaded in and out. So now it is permanently loaded in. And if I get far away enough from this one, eventually it will get loaded out of uh, sight for me as well. But um, let's say this is a mountain, for example, and I always want to see the mountain. Make sure to have that actor selected and then click here back on details. And then you look here for world partition. So world, and you can see spatially loaded. Right now it's spatially loaded because it will load in and out. So when I uh, untick this box and I, it is back to false. Now, you see, this is always there, always. And let's stick it back on. And now it is using back to world partitioning. So this is uh, cool if you want to include or exclude some actors from world partitioning. And this is the basic setup and it will increase the performance of your game. Um, but there might be still some errors, especially when you uh, use third party plugins or programs. Things may be buggy and you have to find your way out. But for most levels and most big setup, this is how you can, um, well, start with world partition or convert it like I showed you before. Anyway, have fun with it.
Don't forget to grab the free game dev toolkit in the description down below this video. You will get my free ebook on how to get better at game development, a free game design document to plan out your projects, and a free tutorial series where you create a platformer game from scratch. And those who are hungry for more, I offer a sneak peek and overview of my new premium course, The Unreal Fault, where you learn how to create beautiful levels, create a game from scratch to finish, and how to set up boss fights and create dragon fights with different attacks, including fire breathing. So if this sounds like a good deal to you, I see you there. Click the link and grab your game dev toolkit now while it's still free.